بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear colleagues, good morning everybody. My name is Tarek al Tawil and I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons at the National Institute of Neuromotor System in Cairo. My talk today will be on a case of bilateral cemented total hip arthroplasty with ankylosing spondylitis in a 55-year-old man with 16 years follow-up. This X-ray uh, was taken a few weeks following the uh, bilateral hips. They were done uh, one after the other. And uh, starting with the right one, um, if you look at the X-ray, you will find complete fusion of the sacroiliac joints on uh, both sides, denoting uh, that the patient is a case of ankylosing spondylitis. And taking the uh, right hip, um, if we take the uh, astabular component, the astabular cup is nicely seated into the um, astabulum with good keyholes and cement mantle all around the cup with uh, proper thickness between two and three millimeters. The angle of inclination uh, is quite acceptable for a male and the, um, when you, you see the ring like this, the, uh, there is a suitable angle of antiversion as well. If you uh, take the, the, the stem, actually the neck height is uh, quite suitable. And uh, regarding the stem, the uh, cement all around is with uh, proper thickness and uh, the uh, size is quite nice. In the uh, coming x-rays, you will see the uh, stem, uh, the stem down to uh, its distal part. On the left side, uh, you will see that the cup has been um, lateralized and uh, there is a uh, very thick uh, cement mantle uh, on the medial side of the stabulum and this uh, denotes that the uh, cup was not properly uh, seated into the uh, stabulum. Uh, add to this, the angle of inclination is uh, quite large, while the uh, femoral component is quite well. And this is uh, some other drawing on the uh, computer just to show you the difference in the angle of inclination between the left one, which is quite open, and the right, which is acceptable. And this is another application where you can uh, download on your mobile uh, which can measure the uh, angle 54 here quite large but uh, not enough to cause dislocation um, five years post-op things are going quite nice the man is happy and uh, walking freely without aid seven years follow-up no much change but uh, might be um, if we have a thorough look on this uh, uh, cup, you'll find that the uh, thickness of the uh, astabular insert on the uh, top part is uh, less than that on the bottom part, denoting early and rapid uh, polyethylene wear. And uh, this is uh, nine years follow-up, still nothing, but uh, if you have a look with me here, you uh, might spot uh, some uh, small points uh, or areas of osteolysis. And this is uh, poly uh, osteolysis. And let, uh, this is the uh, lateral view of both hips. 14 years follow up, no change in the position whether of the cup or uh, the stems and the patient still uh, uh, quite happy and no uh, particular complaint. And um, if you look at the x-ray on the left side, the cub uh, actually is still uh, wearing out and becoming uh, thinner and thinner over the years. And if you look at this, there is some 
sinking of the uh, stem together with its uh, cement mantle down into the uh, into the uh, femur. And this is the lateral view, and this is obvious now from this space, denoting uh, some uh, sinking or distal migration of the uh, stem and its mantle, but the mantle uh, looks still uh, intact. And this is a larger view. And here on the left side, you can spot the areas of uh, osteolysis. Starting as well here on the uh, right side, but um, everything still looks in uh, place and no particular complaint from the patient. This is the patient uh, on uh, the year 14, after uh, passing 14 years post-operatively. And this is a short video while the patient is walking. He's not using any aid. Don't go well actually after 14 years. And now uh, this is uh, x ray after 15 years, and actually, uh, still both um, elements of both hips are in uh, position and um, no particular complaint from this uh, patient. Uh, these small arrows shows you the, uh, show you the areas of osteolysis. And this is the lateral view after, 60, after 15 years, sorry. Now this is 16 years uh, follow-up and these are the last x-rays that I could get from this patient in his uh, follow-up visits. He was walking quite nicely, no particular uh, complaint. And as you look on the uh, right side, uh, actually the uh, cement mantle around the uh, femoral stem is still intact. No sinking, as you can uh, see here from the shoulder of the uh, stem and the uh, neck cut. And the cup is still in place, the cement mantle still intact, the keyholes could be seen in place, and uh, there is minimal wear of the uh, poly. If you compare the thickness of the uh, cup on this side and on the uh, inferior side, which is not exposed to uh, much wear. Uh, while if you look on the uh, left hip, you would find that the thickness of the uh, cup on the superior lateral aspect is uh, becoming uh, thinner and thinner uh, in comparison to the uh, inferior uh, part of it. And now the process of osteolysis is going on with uh, more and more osteolysis of the bone. Yet the patient was uh, still uh, walking and no particular complaint. Um, the message from this that uh, seating the acetabular cup in uh, cemented uh, cases should be done properly. You should have a all through uh, even thickness of the um, cement mantle and you should be sure that the cup is seated quite well into the establum and it has a good bony coverage all through and with a good angle of inclination and antiversion to avoid early wear of the uh, polyethylene cup which might affect the uh, stability of the stem by the process of uh, osteolysis. Thank you.